Hey everyone, welcome back to The Leadership Project with your host, Mick Spears. Our vision is to inspire all leaders to challenge the status quo. We bring you weekly topics and thought-provoking guests to get you to stop, reflect, and think about what it means to be a leader in a modern world. Our aim is to help you become the leader you wish you always had as we learn together and lead together. Please enjoy the show. Hey everyone and welcome back to The Leadership Project. We're very excited to bring you this episode 41. As promised last week, we're going to give you the highlights of what's in store for us in 2022. So another solo cast from me today before next week, we get back into our regular sequence of interview guests. So first of all, welcome to the Year of the Tiger, Gong Shi Fa Chai. We hope that the Year of the Tiger brings you great joy, great success, and great professional and personal fulfillment. For us, we intend the Year of the Tiger to be the year that the Leadership Project hits the accelerator. We've had such a wonderful response from all of you to Season 1 and to all of the content that we brought you in 2021, and we now intend to double and triple down on our impact. I have personally gone full-time now on the Leadership Project, and we've grown our team to a team of six full-time people, and we want to accelerate our ability to bring you great content every week and to help you to stop, reflect, and rethink what it means to be a leader. We've got many activities coming up. We'll be launching our Leadership Academy, which will have a bunch of courses that are designed around the science of how people learn. Embracing concepts like collaborative or social learning, micro learning, and gamification, which we know are the proven ways to make learning impactful because it drives you into a behavior that enables you to put it into impactful action that is lasting and transformative in the way that you go about your leadership. We're also launching our coaching services, both one-to-one coaching with professionally certified coaches and also group coaching. And we offer B2B, business-to-business workshops for any businesses out there that are looking to accelerate their development of high-performance teams. For the Leadership Project content, we'll be accelerating the delivery of more value-adding content to you. I'm very excited to announce that I'll be releasing my first book and we're on target for a release towards the end of March. And that book is called You're a Leader, Now What? The concepts behind this is that so many leaders go through this same approach. They're fantastic at what they do. They're a wonderful accountant, wonderful digital marketer, one of the best software engineers the company has ever seen. And they get tapped on the shoulder and get told that, congratulations, you're a leader now. And what usually happens from that point is this roller coaster of emotion. Euphoric highs are finally being recognized for all of their hard work and their skill and their prowess through to this thud of anxiety when they realize that no one has shown them what it means to be a leader. So this first book is designed to help that first-time leader that's recently been promoted and is struggling with that transition. They're discovering that human beings are far more complex than their chosen profession, whether that be spreadsheets for an accountant or JavaScripts through to a software engineer. Human beings are far more complex than their chosen craft. So we're excited to bring that book to you. It will be followed up later in the year by an audio book as well. For our weekly podcast, we've got many guests already lined up for you and we've already recorded some of these interviews and they're just fantastic. Next week, we bring you Rusty Gaylard. Rusty is an ex-senior executive in Apple 
who now helps high performers escape what he calls the A-trap. And you have to listen to the episode to understand what Rusty's talking about and you'll see he's got some great guidance out there for people out there that have always been high performers but maybe get trapped into a cycle that they're not necessarily happy with and not achieving fulfilment in all aspects of their life. We'll bring you Mo Hamzian, who comes onto the show and talks us to a, about the changing aspect of the workplace, this kind of work from home environment, this hybrid environment, or even things like co-working spaces. He gives us a good discussion about the future of work and the future of the workplace. We're then going to bring you a double act of best-selling authors, Emil Dobrovolsky and Octavian Pontish. And they're going to explain to us what we can learn about communication and leadership from an airline captain. And you know that we pride ourselves on bringing you people from all kinds of walks of life and all kinds of domains and seeing what we can take from them and apply it in leadership in our chosen domains. After that, we'll bring you Alina Sverdeskaya. She is a leadership coach who's going to bring us leadership lessons about what you can learn from being a parent. Once again, taking from a different walk of life and thinking about what that could be in terms of applied leadership. We'll be pleased to bring you Susan Shirley. Susan lives in India as an expat, and she's going to talk to us about the cultural aspects of leadership and what it means when you're on an expat assignment. Gillian Bembo, the community manager at the SPI group. Uh, This is the group that Pat Flynn formed. Love Pat. Hi, Pat. I hope you're listening uh, today. Uh, Pat Flynn has been a huge influence on me and my personal life. And Gillian manages Pat's community within SPI. So SPI stands for Smart Passive Income. And he's uh, purposely changed it to just SPI because uh, he's kind of evolved his thinking about passive income as it's gone along, that it is not so passive, that you do need to work quite hard at it, but you can do it quite smartly. So Gillian is the community manager there, and she's going to talk to us about the importance of community, particularly as we go into this kind of work from home environment, and also a bit of a shift that's happening in the world, partly through the great resignation, where we're seeing far more solopreneurs out there that are subcontracting and doing kind of uh, networked based business as opposed to working in a multinational. But there is something in this for all of us about the community aspect, particularly as the workplace has been changing considerably. You could say that the stimulus was the pandemic, but really, I don't think we're ever going to go back to the way things were So this importance of community and impacting things like loneliness and and embracing new technologies like DAOs and Web 3.0, how you can use that to ensure that you achieve great fulfillment in your life going forward as the world changes. We're going to bring on to the show Corey Chadwick, who is a mental fitness trainer, and he has this concept called Live Your 10, and he's going to talk to us a lot about mental fitness and what that means for a leader. A dear friend of mine, Charlie Feinerman, is going to come onto the show and talk to us about the importance of brand, what brand really is because it's often misunderstood, and what a leader's responsibility is in shaping brand and being a brand ambassador. Marcel Dahn, another one here where we're bringing in from a different walk of life, Marcel is a leadership coach, but he also comes from the world of martial arts and spirituality. And we're going to tap into his mind about what he believes it takes to be a wonderful leader, taking lessons from the discipline of martial arts. Michael Bowman is going to come on, and he is the CEO of Success Engineering. And this is about how do you engineer your success? How do you engineer your success as an individual? How do you engineer your success as a team? 
the inspirational Yemi Penn will come onto the show. Her story is just amazing, going from homelessness all the way through to being an inspirational leader in the engineering world as a woman. And just a wonderful story and something for all of us there about diversity, about inclusion, about being your authentic self. It's a wonderful interview. I look forward to bringing that to you. Another dear friend of mine, Jeff Bloomfield, is going to come on. And and, uh, many of you may know Jeff. He's uh, famous on LinkedIn, uh, does a LinkedIn learning uh, program around the science of buying behavior, the science of sales. He really understands the human condition, the psychology of how people make decisions, particularly around buying decisions, but there's lessons in there for all of us as leaders. Very excited to bring you Stephen Shedleski, or better known to all of us as Shed. And Shed is going to, pardon the pun, shed some light on psychological safety for us. He's in the final stages of writing and releasing a book uh, about the speak up culture and about psychologically uh, psychological safety. And Shed is a wonderful communicator, and I'm very much looking forward to having him on the show. We also have a few others that we're still in negotiations with, so uh, no secured commitment from these people yet, but we're working with Grace O'Donnell from the publishing world. It's going to talk to us about leadership there. We're in talks with Michael Bungay-Stania, one of my favorites, the author of the book, The Coaching Habit, amongst other books. And he's got a new book out now as well. But the book, The Coaching Habit, oh, wow, there's so many wonderful lessons for leaders to learn in The Coaching Habit, particularly about asking smarter questions to your team. And we're also in discussions with Anthony Trucks, an ex-NFL star who found himself in this really unusual situation at the end of his NFL career where he went into, I'm going to say, a period of being very lost. And he's going to share with us about how he refound himself to become a motivational speaker. And this guy is just amazing. So we do hope that we can come to an agreement with Anthony and to bring him on the show. And another one, really strange one, I'm still mentally preparing for this. We will have an episode coming up shortly where we're going to invite a guest to be the host of the show and I am going to be interviewed and we will talk about why I created the Leadership Project in the first place and we'll specifically talk about the new book and uh, to share with people what the book is uh, all about. So I'm Funny, uh, I do not get nerves at all uh, being the host of my show, but I'm sort of a little bit nervous about being interviewed on my very own uh, podcast. But anyway, we'll bring that to you soon. I hope that you get great value from it. Other activities of bringing you content. We're going to invest more in our Facebook community group. So if you haven't joined yet, I strongly encourage you to do so. We want to build that community that Gillian Benbow talks about, where you have a voice, where you have opinions. We want to hear them. You have questions. We have answers, but so do other people. And we want to build that community where people feel very safe to be able to ask a question about leadership, be able to share their opinions about leadership, and to learn collaboratively together, learn together lead together is our motto and we want to make that happen. We already have, I think, 450 members in the uh, Facebook community group. It increases every day, so it may be more than that now. And we want to invite you to come and be an active member of that group. We'll be reinstating our weekly email series to send you out great value-adding content to make you stop and think each week. So if you're not already a subscriber to our email service, please do, because I'm sure that you're going to find those weekly emails helpful to you. Of course, we're going to keep on bringing you amazing videos. And our uh, content editor, I've got to do a shout out here, uh, Farah Sadek 
and he'll be editing this audio podcast, so he'll be embarrassed as he's doing the editing. This guy's amazing. We're, we're so glad that we found him. So every week when you see us doing our weekly podcast, when you see us putting out the video podcast on YouTube, when you see us putting out curated videos where Faris creates a, a video on specific topics, could be anything from three minutes to 12 minutes long, like he'll he'll pick the golden nugget from one of our interviews, let's say with Zach Mercurio, and he'll turn that into a curated video about the most impactful part that came from the interview. And he does a wonderful job and we'll be continuing to deliver those to you each and every week this year as well. We're also excited to tell you that we're soon going to start doing some weekly live streams. The weekly live streams will be topic specific. We'll present some level of topic or some kind of value adding content to you, either myself in a solo live stream, or we'll be bringing on guest interview, uh, uh, interviewees to discuss uh, any certain topic with you. And with each of those live streams will be an opportunity to ask questions live, ask questions live to, to me, and you can literally ask me anything. I know people say that all the time, but I can tell you I am an um, open and transparent book, so you can ask me anything, and I'm sure that our guests that come on to the, the live stream will also have the same attitude. And we're going to continue to bring that, that great value to you each and every week. So that's it for today. We're really excited about 2022, excited about the Year of the Tiger. We would love to know what the Year of the Tiger means to you. What are your goals? What are your goals as a leader this year? What do you want to do to take your leadership to the next level? So thank you. Next week, we bring you Rusty Gaylard, a wonderful conversation, uh, particularly around high performers, but there's something in that for all of us. So do take care, look out for each other, and always remember to challenge the status quo. Thank you for listening to the Leadership Project podcast at mixspears.com. I'm your host, Mick Spears. Sound design and editing by Faris Sadek. Social media by Gerald Calibo. And special thanks to our operations manager, Say Spears. We appreciate you and we appreciate your time today. You can catch the video podcast and our series of shorter videos by subscribing to the Leadership Project YouTube channel. And you can join the conversation at our Facebook community group. We look forward to bringing you another great interview next week as we learn together and lead together. In the meantime, please do take care, look out for each other, and always remember to challenge the status quo.